still in this bed, laid down. No, but I have been up and about. I'll have to take a little video, but it's really hard at the moment to try and um, walk like a T-Rex and try and take a video. Um, I'll have Scarl to do it. My absolute diamond he has been. I couldn't have done all this without him. He's literally been by my side every step at where. Which has been good. Um, so, surgeon's been round. And, um, obviously I just asked about how it all went. Um, and they said that my stomach muscle repair like it was it was really bad so you can have a maximum of like 10 centimeters that your muscles are open a man was seven so he said this is why i got the protruding made me look pregnant um it's it was like a substantial change happened just from you know just from fixing the muscles um which is something that the nhs said that they would do Four years ago, when my um, muscles separated, I had the physio, I did everything that they told me to, and I fought with him for four years to try and get a muscle repair, and they wouldn't do it. Oh, excuse me. Yeah, they wouldn't do it. So, that's really bad, I think. It's just like how they fucking tell you one thing one minute, and then the next tell you something completely different. Absolute chat shit. Sh the chat shit they do so anyway I'm still moving up and down as much as I can getting on the orange juice I've just took my drains out ouch well like this won't hurt won't hurt well like, okay and I felt it coming from my insides each side it were awful honestly awful um, but it's done now. It's really weird because we like, have you got any pain? I was like, yeah, my, my ribs are really hurting. And he said that's where he did quite a vigorous liposuction. Um, and the bottom half of my belly, like when he obviously took it up, he opened my corset thing to get the drains out. It's painful, but it's numb at the same time, which I know makes no sense at all. But it is numb and painful. It's really, it's a really weird sensation, to be honest. Um, but yeah, getting there. I feel like I'll um, get stronger and stronger each day. I know it's gonna take me a good two weeks or so to be feeling somewhat normalish. Um, so I just gotta keep battling through, really. And then there's a light at the end of the tunnel seen some of my bruises on my back today. The bed. Look, I look like I've been battered. Um, in black and blue. But, and I'm very swollen everywhere. Like, even my legs are swollen. <laughs> Ow. Don't laugh. Um, yeah, I've got no done with my legs, but they're swollen. Anyway, I'm gonna be over and out because Talking is hurting a little bit. I'm quite shattered, as you probably can tell. Um, but I will keep posting daily updates. And I'm going back to the hotel room later on today. So I will do some updates on um, how that is, you know, getting back into a normal bed and just like walking around and things. I'm sure I'll be all good. <laughs>